Hey y'all, I'm going live here. Listen, I want to see if how many people are coming in. If I go live, I know it's late. It's uh Saturday night. It's 9 p.m. I was already on here. I did the keynote for the uh, Student National Dental Association. So I thought I would go live. Let's see how many people come in. I just wanted to have a little conversation with you guys, see what was going on. Let's see, let's see. All right, all right. Listen, I just want to talk to y'all for a minute about what was going on in the world. Um, Let's see, let's see. Hey y'all, what's going on? Listen, I ain't really had nothing to talk about tonight. So um, I just came on because I was already sitting at my computer and um, I did the keynote address for the um, Student National Dental Association. Um, I kind of feel bad that they um, did not get a graduation, you know, a formal graduation from dental school or shit, shoot, uh, even um, undergrad. So guys, what y'all want to talk about tonight? Y'all from Arizona, I see Robin, all y'all here, Carmen, Joe, Laverne, uh, Latrice, Portia, all of that. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? How are you guys doing? I just called, came in to check on you guys and see what, how y'all feeling, what y'all got going on, what's going on, how y'all doing? What y'all want to talk about? Okay. I ain't taking no dang vaccine. I'm not. I'm not taking no vaccine, but I will wear my mask. What's going on? Hello, Virginia Beach. Sherry Parker. What's going on? What y'all want to talk about? Give me a question. I'm just here. Um, I just said I would come on a few minutes since I was sitting in front of my computer down here in my, in my infamous closet. Uh, we've done testing for COVID. Um, yesterday, we had a successful event. We um, actually tested, I think, shoot, I don't know how many, but I think it was over 400 people. But it's amazing how um, you could just come up with an idea and it just works. Um, so kudos to Dr. Damon. Do, have you experienced the discrimination on married medicine? No, Paige, I haven't. But I'm an all black cast in a um, black um, a black um, show. I have not dis experienced discrimination. Honestly, I didn't know Bravo was even that white till I went to BravoCon. Bravo is all white except for Housewives, Potomac. And uh, Married to Medicine, from what I could see, um, most of those shows are all white. Then they got Gazelle over there. To, uh, I think Beverly Hills it is, or New York, one of them. But no, I have never dis experienced discrimination at, at Bravo. I have not. Um, do you think an entangled relationship is the way to go? <coughs> Y'all know I don't play like that. I don't know what they got going on over there. Jada and uh, Will Smith, they got a lot going on. But you know what? That's the industry. That industry is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It just is. I'm not a part of that industry. Um, I think that people just be having sex with people. I don't know why the little boy was talking so much. Like, I think he just should have been quiet. You know what I'm saying? He got with Jada, so what? That's what I'm saying. When you're young and mad, you just talk. That's my thought. Hey, Miss Glam, I see you, girl. Um, he Will is hurt, and he meant it when he said he's going to get her back. But you know what? I didn't see the whole video because I didn't watch uh, them 12 million people. So somebody got paid them 12 million viewers to Red Table Talk. But she clearly said he has already paid her back. It ain't about a payback. So he's done it. She's done it. You know, y'all say double standard. We talk about this all the time. Men can't handle it. Women just deal with it. It is what it is. Y'all think what y'all want to. He's done it before she made it clear. You already done got me back. But, you know, we have to be mature about stuff. I ain't going to speak nothing into existence, but men can't handle that shit. I would not be surprised if we don't see a divorce on the, on the upfold because men can handle it. The man can do it and we can forgive and forget what well, we don't forget, but we can forgive and kind of move on. But it's very difficult for most men to move on from something like that, especially publicly. So um, my hat's off to them. I'm praying for their marriage. That's how I feel. Um, hey, yeah, I'm looking good. I got my little makeup done because I was the um keynote speaker for the Student National Dental Association, and that was a big deal. It was a um very it was it was a privilege, really. I was humbled that they even asked me to do it. But it was good talking to all the graduates of dental school. Um, well, and 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 students that are still matriculating through dental school. And um, it was a lot of people on the virtual gala. You know, usually they have an SNDA gala every year. Of course, because of COVID, they couldn't have it, but they had it virtually and they asked me to do well. I was supposed to go, but they changed it to virtual. It actually turned out really, really good, you know. So that was good. Thank you. Um, let's see what you got. Is God involved in entangled marriages? No, I don't see that, child. I I I feel like monogamy, but you know what? Whatever. 
grow for you because you know what I mean? You can't tell nobody how to live their life, who to love, when to love, how to love. All you can do is live the best life you can live for yourself, okay? That's all you can really do. That's my thought. Cree, what Cree say? I see Cree, what Cree? Um, let's see. Good paying jobs without having a college degree. Hell, you know, um, to be honest, there's a lot of good jobs out there to me, but you got to have a good work ethic. The problem with the people is they don't want to work and they think that they're supposed to get money overnight. For example, my office manager probably make in excess of 80 grand a year. That's pretty good money, right? She ain't got no college degree. She just worked hard for me. She's been loyal. She stayed with me. She worked hard. Even when if I call her right now and I say, hey, girl, um, I ain't going to say her name, um, young lady, um, I need you to do this, that, and for me right quick. I need you to go online and pull this out. She going to do it. That's how you get a good job. That's how you get loyalty. But y'all don't be wanting to work. You know what I'm saying? Most, most of y'all, y'all want to get over. Y'all feel like y'all going to talk about the boss. But listen, when y'all talk about the boss, please understand and get back to the boss. Somebody is telling the boss, listen, I'm telling you, and that goes for Smile by Dr. Heavenly, that goes for Bravo. If you want a job, if you want a job, you want to keep your job, and I ain't being messy or nothing, you want to keep your job, do your damn job. Come to work on time. Don't curse at the people. You curse me out, you lost your job. That's just the way it is, and it ain't got nothing to do with racism. You curse me out, you lost your job. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just throwing it out there. Y'all got to understand, y'all can't curse the people out and, and threaten the pseudo people. Let me hush. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Will is not bothered for real. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think if you love your wife, you'd be bothered that somebody else entered her. How can I get into real estate investing? What, what we talk about? Having good credit, right? Having good credit. I think the best way to do real estate investing is to get a real estate license. You don't need one, of course, but I think you need to know a lot about the industry. That's why I got my man is uh, my real estate license is inactive right now, but my son got one and uh, I've been taking him looking at properties. And my whole thing is if I knew at 19 what I know now, I'd have been I would have been, you know, what I mean, I would have had so much more. And my whole thing is I made a whole lot of mistakes and I know he will, too. But if I could tell him about my mistakes to prevent him from having some of them. That's what I'd like to do. But uh, getting in real estate, get a real estate license. Get a real estate license. Learn everything about real estate. Get your credit right because your credit is king. You get low in, lower interest rates when you're flipping those properties. And um, if you got access to the MLS shit, Zillow, Zillow is accurate sometimes, but okay. If you got access to the MLS, you can see what sold the comps and all of that. So my best advice to you, if you really want to do real estate, learn it. Get a, get a license. Get a real estate license. Um, Next question. Let's go on. When are you going to know the video? You know what? Quit and Q. We got to do some things real soon. I'm excited about it. Me and Q got some things going on coming down the pipeline. They say we'll have something to do with. Okay, whatever. I don't know nothing about that, baby. Men will handle will not handle their manhood stepped on like that. They don't bounce back from it. It's very hard, Sabrina. I never try to never say never, but um, I don't know no man. I don't know. Maybe y'all could help me out. Help me out because I don't know every damn thing and I really don't know nobody. You know what I mean? Like y'all know all the people out there in the world. Help me. Somebody know somebody whose wife has publicly cheated on them. Black. No, we gonna go black. We ain't racist enough, but we gonna say black. Black man, wife who's cheated on him publicly, and he know for a fact she's admitted it, and they still together. Give me two. Give me two. Help me. I don't see that. I don't see that. I mean, you know, but you know, we all a different kind of dude, so maybe, maybe they are swingers. Um, what are your thoughts on mama's boys? Mm, I, I, that's a twofold question because a man that treats his mother really, really good is a great guy, is a great man. And you could tell a lot about a man by the way he treats his mama is how he's going to treat his wife. Second fold, mama's boy, single parent, only child, Dr. Damon, the mama be the mama, mama in law be a hot mess, y'all. So, you know, that's a different story. Okay. Listen, mama's boys, yeah, you're going to get the good, but you're going to get some of the other stuff too. Okay. So it's, it's a double edged sword. But that Zachary can do both. Uh, I guess that's one of the things y'all don't realize. Is Zachary can do, do both. He can do real estate while he's in school. He's definitely going to medical school. That's his plan. He's a sophomore in college. But why can't why can't he purchase houses now while he's in school? He ain't got no job. He got time. You know what I mean? Plenty of people work while they're in school. So no, he does. He is going to medical school. 
Um, he's a pre-med major, chemistry pre-med. Uh, his plan is to go to medical school, but why can't he get a real estate license? Now, he ain't got no more time. He ain't got no job. Learn how to flip houses. Keep those houses long term. My whole thing is when you buy a house, if you buy it right, hold on to it. And I'm trying to teach him early. That's all. But yeah, he going to medical school. What if he one puts his mom? Now, that's a problem for me. That's a problem for me. Some people say separate but equal. You ain't equal. The wife got to be number one, y'all. That's biblical. We, we, we come together in front of God and become one. The mama can't be before you. You know what I'm saying? You damn sure the best cat friend can't be in front of you or the sister. Ooh, the sister's a hot mess. I'm glad Damon ain't got no sisters. Ooh, I know about the sisters. But um, no, nah, you got to be number one. You got to be. For the marriage to be sustainable, he has to love you like Christ loved the church, and you got to be number one. And that's a hard pill to swallow when it comes to your kids, because I know we're supposed to be number one, but shit, if my baby's drowning, I promise you I'm getting them before I get the man. And y'all know how much I love my man. So anyway, y'all gonna pray. Now I can see why Mariah can easily get heated and have three darts stuck into her head. Okay, y'all gonna leave me alone. High-pitched squeak coming from her. Y'all leave the girl alone. Why y'all doing that? The goal for him is, um, my goal for him is for him to be happy. Whatever that means to him, whatever that means to him, I want to be happy. You know what I mean? I want to be happy. I want to be safe. Shit, Black Lives Matter. They're killing a lot of black men. Be safe. That's what I want for my my sons. Be safe, be healthy, be happy. And with success, that's, that secures that you got to have money for medical. You got to have money for the lifestyle. That whole foods ain't cheap. So they live a healthy lifestyle. You need to have money. I'm just saying. But yeah, success means a lot of different things. Um, but what if the, his wife over her previous relationship, she brings the old baggage into the new relationship? She ain't ready. Come on now. If she, if she bring the old baggage into the new relationship, she ain't ready. We don't even got time for that. Okay? If she ain't ready, she ain't ready. I don't know what that, what that young lady was talking about, but she'll be okay. Uh, when would the show uh next week? Y'all got y'all got it for me. Listen, I don't know if I be supposed to tell people, but hell, I ain't never got no in trouble for it. But next week we supposed to stop filming. Shh. Okay, I don't see nothing wrong with Jaden Will Matter. I've been open married, but that's you, Omar. I mean, most people ain't like that. Most with black men can't handle another man going up in their wife. That's just it, Omar. I don't know what nationality you are, what what that is, but. Most men can't handle that. Most black men cannot handle Most straight black men, I'm going to say straight black men, cannot handle that. I'm telling you, they can't. I'm telling you. I'm going backwards. Um, Let's see. He looked like he wanted to cry. He probably did. Jobs are not the same anymore. Cut benefit. If you are good to your boss and you loyal, I'm telling you that's the way to make it. It ain't going to happen overnight. You got to prove your loyalty. You got to bring money to the business, ideas to the business. Y'all got to understand, treat the business like your own. Or... Get your own business. If you feel like you cutting benefits and investing, they not investing in you, invest in your damn self, your darn self, and get your own business. That's what I'm saying, because you're not going to find a perfect place. You're never going to play. And, you know, we talked about this before, and I could talk forever. Hell, I've been on here 13 minutes already. We can talk forever. Somebody told me to read a book about um, oppression, and that's why black people can't get ahead. I don't want to hear none of that. And I do understand. I understand the cotton picking, and I understand the white supremacy, and I understand the king cotton and all of that, and how... We built this nation and all of that. And that's why slavery was so important because it built millions of people and all the people that was presidents and stuff owned slaves because that's what people did. I get it. And we were oppressed and we ain't never dealt with it. And we ain't got our reparations. Like the Japanese got $20,000. I think a household when the war was going on, they got, we ain't never get that. We ain't even get acknowledged. In fact, they're trying to hide our history from us to ignore it and say it never happened. Long story short, all that we can't control, but we can control our future. We can do better. We can't get our mentality. Oh, no, they did us so wrong. We can't do nothing. No, get up, get out, and get some. That's all I got to say. If you ain't got no job that ain't giving you what you need, create your own. Uh, let's see. Bullet. <laughs> My teeth crooked, boot. I mean, money. You say money can buy anything, right? Boop. You ain't even showing your face, girl. I ain't going to do this with you. I ain't going to do it. Okay, let's see. Um, Will is getting karma after going, oh, yeah, maybe so, hell, I don't know. Let's see, no real man would sit his woman in the lap of another man. No real man would sit his woman in the lap. No, she, he wouldn't. <clears throat> ah, I'm going to leave it alone. Alex Tucker, when y'all get money, that means I'm supposed to see y'all. What are your thoughts about Mariah saying, you don't pay me $5, I better answer this question, huh? 
Um, about saying she's suing a production company because she didn't get a contract. Y'all want to hear my opinion because I've been real silent and most people been real silent. I don't even want to talk about this Alex Tucker Cruz and you paying me to be messy. I'm not being messy. I already said it. I already said it. If you got a job, do your damn job. You can't cuss out the people and try to sue them and think you still got a job. I'm not talking about nobody. I will talk about me and smiles by Dr. Heavenly. What I will say to you, if you curse me out in front of the whole goddamn staff and you tell me and say all this and threaten to sue me, I'm trying to get you to fuck up out of my corporation. That's all I'm saying about it. That's all I'm saying about it. And don't use the climate to say I'm racially unjust to you when everybody in my practice is black. I ain't going to do with it. Do your damn job. I come to work. I do all my jobs. Well, it's the best of my capability. I swear to God I do. When I see them teeth, I be looking at different ways of how to make the teeth better. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at what you want. I'm looking at your smile. I'm looking at your curve of speed. I'm trying to do the best damn job I could do. I do that on all my jobs. If y'all look on Mary the Medicine, honestly, y'all can say what you want to about that. The heaven, she might be messy as hell. She might be, uh, she might be hollering or whatever, whatever. But you've seen all sides of Dr. Heavenly, and I try to make every one of my scenes, every one of them, entertaining, if you will. Do all your jobs well. Yes, it's reality TV, it's absolutely real, but you gotta turn up a little bit. My whole thing is come to work, do your damn job. Don't be threatening no damn body because after you threaten people, I'm talking about smile that out of heaven. If you threaten me, ain't nobody going to want to work with you. If you threaten the people, if you're trying to take their livelihood, ain't nobody going to want to work with you. We're not going to want to film with you. Why would we, we? We got shit to lose for real. I'm talking about smiling. I ain't talking about nobody. Leave me alone, Alex. I ain't got nothing to do with that shit, okay? Got nothing to do with it. I'm not talking it up. You're going to get me wrong and y'all going to quote me and then it's going to be some shit, okay? I ain't trying to do it. I was trying not to cuss either, Alex. You done made me curse now. What a nice surprise. Yes. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Credit is king, baby. I, I don't know. They have what they call hard money loans, meaning they got money out there with high, high ass interest rates. And usually it's due back in a certain amount of time, 90 days, six months, a year. But the interest so high that you losing the prop, profit on the, on the real estate deal. So, oh, my hand's ashy, but you're losing the profit. So get the credit right. Go to go to real estate school. Learn about the real estate. Learn the laws. Get your credit right. Work hard. I don't know what this credit situation, but anything you qualified to get, you could pay off. Get you another job. Y'all got to work, baby. You know how hard I work? I work like I'm broke every day, so I don't feel sorry for nobody that don't got shit because you got to work. Work for it. Get you another job on the side. Pay off all the stuff. Pull your credit report. See all the stuff on it. Pay that stuff off little by little. It's going to take you some time. Just do it. While in the meantime, pay the, um, I think it's $170. It ain't too much to get a real estate license. Take that course while you're paying this stuff off. Come up with a plan, y'all. Don't make no excuses and get it done. I know it don't seem that easy and it's hard to do. And I know real estate is a hard hustle. It ain't just easy. Let me say that first and foremost. Y'all see, that's some commission-based stuff. So keep your damn day job. That's why I say, Zachary, the purpose of him getting his real estate license is so he can buy properties, i.e. either flip them or hold on to them. That's all I'm saying. So credit, I would say, yes, you can start with some hard money lending, but it just makes it harder on a job that's already hard. That's all I'm going to say. Um, Jada and Will, you looking pretty. Thank you, because... um. I had did the keynote today for the SNDA, so I came on, you know, when I put my little makeup on. My favorite dentist, hey, Zamara, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really try hard. I really do. And, you know, um, since Black Lives Matter and we've been supporting black businesses, the business has been doing really well. I promise you, I do the best of my capabilities to make capability to make these teeth as best as I can. I promise you, I don't see anybody out there that can make teeth better than me. And just say, if you got the money for me to do what I need to do. Now, if you want to do one tooth and you need these six done, I, you know. But if you give me what I need to do what I do, I got you, boo. That's something I know I can do. I can do that. Now, I got that. Okay? Implants. Um, I just bought a machine the other day. They can make the crowns in the office the same day, you know, the syrup. But then I got the implant stability monitor. So when I place that implant, I can see if it's stable enough to go ahead and load and put an implant on the same day. We got our technology with our CBTC. I got the piezo cube, y'all. I love dentistry. So when I get a birthday, I buy me some new dental stuff. So I am really passionate about my job. Um, and I thank you, Zamira, for saying I'm your favorite dentist. Thank you. 
Okay, what are your thoughts on Mama's Boys? I already answered that. Did Kwa get a con? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly do not know. Um, she said she wanted to feel good. He can't wait to do it, do that anymore. That shit is crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. Hey, you got a lot to say about Will and Jada. They talked a lot. I mean, but think about this now, and this is what I think about it. And I know I'm wrong. 12 million viewers. Think about how big deal that is. That ain't even no major network TV, nothing. That's red table talk. That's on Facebook, ain't it? 12 million viewers. Fox News don't get 12 million. CNN don't get 12 million. Hell, Mary the Medicine LA get 400,000, 400 and, you know, 400 to 500,000. Mary the Medicine Atlanta get 900 to 1.2 million. 12 million views. I'm just saying. Okay, uh, we have been doing this thing. Yeah, and you know what? It's a, it's crazy, Olivia. Men can do it over and over again, get caught over and over again. But as soon as the woman do it, oh, she the worst thing in the world. Oh, she is just a whore. She just doing the wrong thing. Olivia, if you live enough to get married and be married as long as Will and Jada, if you cheated, lie to the end. Don't ever admit that shit. That little boy, a damn lie. I don't know his name. Uh, Augustine, I don't even know who the hell he is, to be honest. And that ain't saying that because I don't know nobody but Jay-Z and Beyonce. But, little boy, you a damn lie. I beat your ass. I did not sleep with you. We ain't had no damn entanglement. Boy, I slapped the shit out. I would have never admitted to it. I would have never done it, but I would never admit it to it. You don't admit to that. Especially in publicly. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, I ain't do it. Nope. It wasn't me. COVID testing, do it. I did. Yes, it's so important that you get tested, B. Frazier. You got to get tested so you can protect. If, you, if you're if you positive, you can quarantine 14 days. That's what I'm saying. You got to do it. We got to stop this thing, y'all. And it's getting out of control and it's killing people. Okay? If, if 10,000 people get it and 100 people die, hell, 100 people is a lot of people. And honestly, I ain't going to, y'all know my conspiracy theory about all of it. I think it's population control. It was meant to happen. Obama told y'all it was coming in 2014. He told y'all to get ready. And then y'all dismantled the whole thing, Trump. And now it's here. Y'all act like going out there. And you know, today was the first day I saw on CNN. He actually wore a mask at Walter Reed Hospital in, in Washington, D.C. He is the example setter for a lot of ignorant people that follow him. And I tell y'all, as my fans, always do what you think is right. Use your common sense. A lot of people don't wear masks because he don't damn it wear one. Get tested, y'all. Get tested. Damon Cams, Georgia, know your status. If y'all know anything about it, I'm supporting my man. He is doing COVID testing. He is doing COVID testing. Um, he's going to be in some big places. I'm going to post um, all the locations he's going to do testing. But y'all, get tested. Um, get tested. Our website is georgianknowyourstatus.com. If you want to volunteer, if you want to host a site, if you want to uh, sponsor, let us know. Okay? Swingers, okay. I ain't no swinger. I'm too damn jealous. I end up fighting the girl. I don't know about Saudi pitching wife. None, nothing. I don't know. Great to see you tonight, too, darling. Can't think of no man. Oh, yeah. Y'all talking about y'all thinking any back men with a woman cheated publicly and he's still with her? Cardi B, man. And Cardi B said, if I said, Ed, I'm gone. I'm gone, baby. I'm gone. I'm all this. And I'm in a, we will forgive a man we love. We will. And I ain't faulting her. I ain't saying that. I probably do the same shit. I'm just saying. But a black man had Cardi B slept with somebody on Offset and it was public. Now, a lot of times we can lie our way out of it and if it ain't public, the man probably try to forget about it or act like it didn't happen. Publicly, and you admit it to it, yeah, he slid up in this. Got to go, boo. Can't do it. We talked about Zachary. Zachary's my baby boy. Yeah, he gonna do both, baby. I don't know nothing about her. Um, Not too independent. Let's see. Yeah, but the wife will always win. Ah. Uh, Depend on what you want. Depend on what you mean by winning. If you want the man, you ain't going to win. Willis bothered. He cheated. Mm, you know, one of, yeah, that's true. Mm. I keep seeing the same damn questions. Okay, so I'm scrolling down. I'm getting to the new comments. If I miss you, I ain't mean to. That's right. The men can do it. We can't. We can't do it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. There's too much that was said already for her not to address it. Plus, it was able to control the narrative with 12 million views. Okay, what did she did that thing? She did it. She did it. You know, that's funny.
funny because I'm going to just talk about this because I ain't talking, I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. It's so many scenes, y'all. We're not control of any of the editing or anything. And it's so many scenes that we don't see some positive stuff. Like I could be doing COVID and do something positive, right? And you spend three hours taping, filming, right? And you say one thing and you don't even remember what the hell you said. You don't even remember. What, and that's the whole event is that one thing you said. That whole three hours that you did something positive and help. You might have kept saved the life of 400,000 people. But if you said um, quad was a bitch, that's all they're going to show. That's all they're going to show. So that happens to all of us. Can't nobody complain about that. That's reality TV and that's what you signed up for. That's what I'm saying about that. Me too, boo. Me too. Let's see. So, so that is men dressed. What's next? I think he gonna leave. Y'all, y'all don't quote me. I think he gonna go. Or you know what? When people got that kind of money, they don't really go. Sometimes they just separate, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like you be hearing couples that still together, i.e. for the public, but they live separately. I'm just saying. We are gonna pray. We start next week. I told you. Um, mandatory diversity training at work. That's good. That's a start. That's the stuff. Because I think a lot of times well, people don't have a clue. Because, like, we were talking to some of the people, the people didn't have a clue about how police brutality was working. And if you're a black man and you get pulled over, chances are it's a reason to be afraid. A lot of white people did not know. They honestly did not know that was going on. I promise to God, people didn't know. Some of them didn't know. But as a black man, chances are you dealt with it. So you knew it. People come, comedians talk about it. Everybody talk about it. Said a white man, they didn't know because it don't happen to them. If we were treated like the white man with respect when somebody pulled us over, it wouldn't be no murders. This is how this go. Pull you over. Listen, I'm a black man. I'm descendants of kings and queens. I have pride. I got my chest high. I am a black man. I'm what you fear the most is my semen. You know what I'm saying? You fear me, right? You pull me over, you're a white man. Pull me over. Get out the car. Already, I'm upset because you pulled me over. Now you're talking to me wrong. Okay, so now my blackness is trying to keep my composure. Hey, what did I do? Damn it, I don't got to tell you what I did. You did. Okay, first of all, I know my rights. Damn it, you got to tell me. They don't care. They have the authority. They have too much power and it's allowed to be having. That's why they say defund. When they say defund, they mean to diversify the training and get them to treat them like human beings. They came on and say, hey, man. You was going 65 and a 55, man. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to give you a That's all you really got to do. But like you say, it's a descendant of slavery where they, they profiling the black man to get him in prison because the prison is big money, right? Y'all know that. Pull him over. Get out the car. Now I got an attitude, okay? Now you're scared of me or whatever. Now you got a reason to pull out your gun. Now I'm upset. The whole shit escalated. When you put them damn handcuffs on me, y'all said it's, um, it's, uh, you, 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 you uh, stop, stop, um, Stop trying to stop me. What you call it? Oh, I came my mind ain't working right. Okay. Stop, stop um uh uh retaliating against me. I forget the word. Anyway, you put them the thing, I ain't never been in the handcuffs, but I can look and the people say it hurt. Okay, so now if you put me some handcuffs and you put them tight as hell, I'm gonna be trying to move. You put me down, I'm gonna try to move. I'm not trying to fight you back. I'm just saying, damn, if you on my arm or my neck, I'm gonna try to fight because you know I'm about to be. anyway. Defund the police, teach them how to treat people, and a lot of shit won't happen. Now, it's a lot of black people that do wrong, but hell, it's a lot of white people do too. You are not the judge or jury. The person should go home or go to court or something, to, but live to see another day. Anyway, resisting, that's what I meant to say. Resisting arrest. I'm not resisting. That shit hurt you on my neck. What I'm supposed to do? And in any other situation, if I saw you on the streets, you would not be doing this. You know what I'm saying? You got four people behind you. You got a badge or a gun. This would not happen. You're afraid of me. But anyway. I think they had already made an agreement about how they were going to live. Yeah, probably so. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bezos, ex wife strong enough to leave and took her beans with her. Well, yeah. And, 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 but Tish, I'm going to tell you this, Tish, and you look young, so you don't get this. The money ain't why a lot of women stay. It's a lot of it's the reason why a lot of people do stay. But if they can get the money and go, some women just love their damn man, and they just can't go. I'm telling you, uh, you don't know Tish. You might not have no man, but you is something. It's unconditional love. And then when a dude tell you that he didn't mean to do it, and you know how much he love you, you're not finna leave that man. I'm just saying. So yeah, she got the money, but she probably didn't care. No way. She was waiting on a situation to get the money. She had a lawyer waiting for him to cheat, probably. I don't even know the, them, but I'm just saying. That's right, modern day plantations. There you go. There you go. <laughs> this, who is this 
this person here, listen. I mean, when your skin looks burnt and comes out the toaster, bitch, show your face and your name. I'm gonna leave this person alone. I don't know what she's talking about. Is she talking about Lake? I don't know. What is she talking about? I, I, I ain't gonna do it. Y'all stop talking bad about people. Okay, leave the people alone. This ain't this kind of child. My son, my cousin just had a baby, doesn't want to be physically or financially be there. Had a baby. I guess the boy don't want to be now, ch now child support. I cussed him out, but I felt like it was wasting time. Do you give up on? Yes, you give up on people. You can't make people do nothing. If they don't want to be there, the child ain't going to keep them there. You can't make people do nothing. They got to want to be there. That's it on that. Daddy wouldn't ask me for an open marriage because I've been with him 26 years. We've been married. It'll be 23 years in August. Daddy wouldn't ask me that. He know me well enough, Africa, that that would never happen because he know I beat that ass. I beat his ass. Okay. Seven states are having the in-person bar exam in two weeks. How do you feel about 100 people gathering there? Chad. That's I don't even know if that's still gonna happen because a lot of things are changing like overnight. Because I live in Atlanta and I know Keisha Lance Bottoms is actually putting a public mandate out there, so that may not happen. That may have been scheduled, so I don't know. Maybe they say, Hey, you know what, you six feet, sit six feet apart and wear your mask. I don't know, but um, you should not be. But shit, y'all doing it anyway. I see the videos with all y'all together, like sardines throwing up and down trying to get the cold, but I see it, so I don't know. How do you feel about school starting back? My daughter's not going to go to school. She's at private school, and I know a lot of people can't do that, but they give you an option. But I think now it's changed. With it, everybody going to be virtual, but I was not going to send my sister, my daughter back to school because it's too high. We in Georgia. We in Atlanta. Um, So I don't know how it is somewhere else. I know Florida, Georgia exponentially is rising. I would not send my baby to school back like that, okay? I don't know. Andy, Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say what their experiences have been. I can only talk about my experiences. I think that Andy is about his money. Point blank, simple. Corporation, any corporation. You could say any corporation has racism and probably all of them do, including Bravo. All of them probably do. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to your money, if you do your damn job, come to work every time. But if you're going to buck up at the damn owner of the corporation, where you hear you? Black, white, purple, gay, straight, Chinese, if you come at me and my job and tell me how the hell to run it and what I'm doing wrong, and you, you're going to have to go. I'm sorry. I'm just speaking from a bit. A lot of people have never owned a business, a corporation, a multi-million dollar corporation. It ain't even about that. At some point, when you're making so much money, you ain't looking at racism, I don't think. I think you're looking at your money. And if people can't make your money without, and even if you're making me money, you could be my top producer. I've had doctors. If you're making me money, money, and you know my money a little bit different for Andy's, it ain't nothing better. But I'm saying, if you make me money and you talk shit to me in front of my staff, bye -bye. I can't do it because now I don't have respect to my staff. I'm talking about me. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm talking about business as a boss, as a business owner. You're not going to talk crazy to me, and you're not going to use this climate to say, let me get off live before I say too much. Let me get off live. Because all I know is my experiences. That's all I can speak from. But if you do your damn job, go to work, do a good job, go home. Okay? Listen, it me, y'all let me off married to Mr. Cool. I think I do my job pretty well. Some people love me, hate me, whatever. But I think you do come to see me some of them. Okay? I think I got my 20% at least. Okay? If you put me on married to Mr. I swear to God, this is what I do. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the opportunity. It has been beautiful. I ain't kissing nobody ass. I ain't calling nobody. I ain't doing all of that. Thank you for the opportunity. If you ever need me again, let me know because it's some easy ass money to make. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to go do my real thing, which is dentistry. I, 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 but some of them ain't got that. I'm just saying, maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's all they got. But what I'm saying to you is leave with some respect, self respect. Thank you for the opportunity. This day shit. If you want that, your shit. There you go, baby. Just binge watch Married to Medicine. What's your think, thought process, Jasmine? I really try to entertain. I think my stuff be funny. Sometimes I do go too far, but I think all of us do. What you think about it, Jasmine? Tell me, baby. Let me know. How do you feel about mayor disrespecting under my um, the mayor? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know what that um disrespect the mayor. You saying the governor? Are you talking about the governor? 
They don't owe you shit, Joe. Joe, you came in here knowing what it was. You don't have no creative control. You know the editing is a brother tucker. Sometimes I look at this show and my cart crumble. Like, damn, that didn't happen that way. But I bet you we all do. We all get it, okay? They say it's 70%, you know, 30% that the shit don't go right. We all get it. You cannot say that one scene didn't go your way because we all deal with it. You think Jackie was a man when y'all said that she was being discriminatory to somebody who can't have kids when she can't have none? You think they didn't make her a man? Do you go at the boss and say, hey, this is a racial climate? But you know what? I don't know what people experience. I'm not going to speak on it. I don't know. All I know is for me, y'all ask me a question. I do think it's racist in every corporation, every organization. Bravo, not this. You know what I mean? But I haven't seen it. I ain't looking for it. But my whole thing is, even if the man was, what's that to me? I'm going to do my damn job. I got my man. I'm just saying, I ain't, I ain't seen it. Okay, let's go. Yes, no ass kissing, but thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Let me go make my money because y'all still ain't exceeded what I make on my real job. Thank you for the opportunity. My pages will switch out. It'll be all dentistry. I ain't got no more BS for y'all, no craziness or whatever. All it's going to be dentistry. I'm going to get me PR. Y'all going to forget I got. Y'all don't even remember what happened. I, have, I don't even remember what happened on this damn show. So I'm not mad at the show about nothing. Y'all don't remember nothing. I don't remember what happened. All you know, you remember, oh, Dr. Heavenly was on a reality TV show. She talked a lot. She she read the people. She might have went too far sometimes. You ain't gonna remember what happened. So when I get PR and I and show all of my stuff that y'all asked me about before that I don't put out there, how much I give back to the community, what I've done, my accomplishments, you're gonna forget all of that. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the million followers that I can use to build and promote my business, okay? Thank you. I'm not cussing nobody out. I'm not suing no damn body. I'm not getting on every and talk about the people. I'm not gonna do that. That's me. I'm talking about me and talking about nobody else. I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm just saying. And then get up. Well, let me hush. Let me hush. Y'all stop asking me stuff. Chad, Chad, bad Chad, y'all. All that don't apply if you work for 45. Be grateful under the administration while he's open to race. Now, 45 is a different situation. Now, he's, he's the president of the United States. You can't. That ain't a corporation where you could just say, hey, you know what? I quit. I'll start my own. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to deal with this, whatever, whatever. That's the president of the United States, which is why y'all need to get your tails out there and vote. Our beauty matters. We got to get out there and vote, y'all. Y'all got to get that mean because there's people that really, really still going to vote for him. They still gonna vote for him. Y'all gotta get out in record numbers and defeat this man. It's gonna be voter suppression. It's gonna be, we're gonna have that. Like you say, I told y'all before, we gotta be three times better. We're gonna have to be three times better at the voting polls. And look at all the people that died and got lynched. They did not allow them to vote. You could not assemble when the, 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 uh, the slaves could not assemble. They get beat, damn, they're hung. If they came together, you could not read. If you were, if you learn how to read, you are a threat. If you're educated, that's why my son said the other time, y'all know the last video, if y'all were here, he said, me being in school and getting an education is protest for black America everywhere. It is because it wasn't allowed. It was not allowed during the slavery time. And y'all know we built this country based on King Cotton. Cotton was a Big money maker. It's bigger than Walmart, all that back then. Everybody made their money on cotton. That's why they didn't want the least to say. They had four million slaves. They're picking the cotton and it was free. When well, I tell you all the time, one of your biggest bills in a business is your payroll. Imagine if you could run a business and the people working is free. They slaves. Give them some damn slop and give them somewhere to. You ain't got to pay them. Damn, that's 40% right there off the top. You profited. They ain't got to pay them. They, they slaves. I own them. Anyway, I don't even know how I got here. I'm talking about 45. But anyway, I don't never know how I get where I'm going. But anyway, let the people know if they paying taxes. Do y'all pay taxes in jail? I'm just saying, I don't know. I ain't never been to jail. But I think you do if you got an income. If you probably don't. But if you come out of jail and you got an income and you paying taxes, you should be able to vote. That's my thought. If you're in the hospital, send me my ballot, damn it. I might be on my last breath, but I'm gonna vote for Obama. <laughs> and you know what? Y'all can say what y'all want to about Joe Biden. Yeah, he old as hell and he probably not, but he better than the alternative. And damn it, Kanye West, if you don't sit your ass down. And I ain't mean to cuss if you don't sit down, Kanye. Sit down. That's why I started making fun of, I like Dr. Damon for president. Anybody run for president, hell. Run for president. You talking about Kanye? I'm talking about Kanye. People with business are filling, filing for PPP loans. Yes, 
If they're unemployed, do you understand where they're coming from? Or was it wrong? I think you should get the money. Hell, get the money. Money, cash is king. If you can get a PPP loan, the PPP loans, um, um, the PPP, is my understanding is if you file, you don't have to pay it back if you show that you used it to pay your staff. That's keeping people off of unemployment. PPP. Now, the EIDL loan is a little bit different. That's a loan they give you up to, I think, 200000 but it's low interest. I think it's 3% interest, something crazy like that. Get all the money. What did I tell you, cash is king? Y'all can pay y'all damn credit down with that. Get the money. That ain't wrong. Get the money. But now, don't think this is my problem with it, Cree. Don't think you can come to my office and say, listen, I don't feel comfortable cleaning teeth with a cavitron. So I'm not, I'm a hand skeleton and it's going to take me two hours each patient to get it done. Cause you don't come to my office with that because at this point, I'm paying you. So what I have to do is reduce your pay because you're doing half the work. I'm going to pay you half of what you now you now you act like I'm crazy and I'm wrong for reducing your pay. But if you don't want to work, don't come to work. It's my thought about it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll be talking too long. I think, yeah, I think Trump will give another stimulus. I think he's trying to bribe y'all asses to vote for him. Right. Yeah. He gonna say, Listen, what I tell you before, Teresa. The money ain't built on nothing. It used to be built on the gold, right? The number of gold they had in cash reserve or something. It ain't built on nothing. Give everybody some money. Get as much money as you want. Eventually, I don't think money gonna mean too much anymore because they just giving it away. Get the people the money. It's easy to make money. Get you some money. It ain't built on nothing. Yes, they're gonna give another stimulus check. It ain't built on nothing. If I could give four billion dollars away, four trillion, it ain't built on nothing. Make some more, print some more up and give me some. That's what I think. You're a woman who has her shit together. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, you know, I ain't never been stupid a day in my life. I'm outspoken. Most people don't think that, you know, but shit, I ain't never had no problem from it. So it's all right, I guess. If I was a black man, I probably wouldn't talk the way that I do. Every uh, everyone on reality needs to know that they're under a magnifying glass. Yes, you signed up for it on and off the camera. Yes, you have. You're being white. Yes, you have. That's what you signed up for. Thank you, Lisa. Real love, Lisa. You signed up for it. You're making more money than you ever made in your life. N not me, but them other people. Do your damn job. Sit down. Be entertaining. You know what? Curse out the heavenly out there. Allow it. But don't curse the boss people out. Don't curse the producers out and the people that own the network and go down to damn Bravo and NBC Universe and curse them damn people out. They're going to show you what you worth. And that's just common sense, y'all. Common sense. Come on, then. You can't do the people like that and expect to keep your damn job. I'm just saying. Praise God. We're going to thank Jesus. That the heavenly love you. Your pool. Thank you. Thank you, baby. I, try, I work real hard. What's the easy? Wait a minute. So um, Ice Cube wife cheated. I ain't see that. I ain't know nothing about that now. If that's true, then Ice Cube, but is Ice Cube black? I said a black man. Didn't I say black? Is he black? I don't know. But if y'all got an example, Ice Cube, I ain't know nothing about that. Man. That's what I told you. Give me two examples. That's right. That's what I'm saying, Angela. It ain't got no value. Print some more. Give me some more money. Everybody should have some money, Angela, because it's so easy to get right now. Get a PPP, the idea, the idea, make a special. Give me my reparations for being black. Give me my 40 acres and a mule. Okay, they can't give me 40 acres because they ain't 40 acres for all y'all back there. But give me some damn money for my 40 acres. I mean, y'all gave the Japanese 20 grand per household, which wasn't enough. It was just, give us some money or, 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 or give us free college. Give us some. We need to be acknowledged. For our ancestors, and I ain't even playing, I'm joking, but I ain't joking. We need to be acknowledged for what our ancestors, we built this damn country. We did cotton, look, do your research. We built the country. Now pay me for it. You giving out money any old damn way. People, they're getting beat millions of dollars to corporations that don't even freaking need it. They say, Kanye got $5 million. For what? What business? Get my reparations, okay? That's all I'm saying. No, I ain't spoke to a car. I ain't supposed to smile. Let them, uh, let them other people. What you talking about? Speak it. He's trying to bribe folks with the stem. That's right. It's our money anyway. Yeah, keep him for Kanye against Biden. But if y'all that damn stupid, then y'all deserve for him to win. If y'all let him trick y'all and vote, and, ain't nobody finna vote for Kanye no damn way. I don't even know. That wasn't even no good trick, y'all. Then give, give me something better. Kanye Noble, no. No. What's the easiest business? Something online, online business. You ain't got no overhead. Get your website, start selling stuff, build up your social media. Uh, social media platform is free. Maybe start with a business already out there. I hear people making money with their tea. 
Get on YouTube. Yeah. I'm about to get off now so I can go go um get on YouTube, build a following. Look at the people like Funky Dineva and TS Madison. They sit up and talk and do reviews of damn housewife shows, and that's all you got to do. You been up a following. When I did that the 40 days and they sent me a check, and I still get checks from YouTube. Start an online business, build up your brand in YouTube and start selling something. Do the mukbang. What they call the mukbang? When they be, I went to be love life. All she do is eat. She sit up there. She got a lights just like I do in front of her dining room table. And every day she get on YouTube and eat. How simple is that? Review these shows. The people going to follow you because they want to hear what you got to say. And, you know, if you look at some of these reviewers, they can't even talk well. They can't even speak well. They be so damn ignorant and doing anybody, anybody, anybody could do a YouTube video. Make money like that. Online, that's the easiest business. Okay. Do you about West Virginia post words, please? Yeah, I heard about that. Isn't that awful? Voter suppression. That's awful. We're going to pray for them. Anyway, let me go. I thought that I was just going to come in and check with y'all and see how y'all doing. And y'all are doing well. What are your thoughts on Married to Medicine LA? I thought Married to Medicine, honestly, I joke a lot. I really thought it was entertaining. I don't know why the um, numbers are so bad. I really like them. I have to agree with you, but I'm partial to the Atlanta cast. I think y'all are more invested in Atlanta cast. And I mean, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm partial. Like you say, I do think Atlanta's better. Damn, it's twice as better, so we get twice as many viewers. So there you have it. We, I, I, but I like. I think it's cute. Y'all say what y'all want about Shanique. She bring the mess. Jasmine is Jet. Ja them the best two people. Y'all can like the doctors. It's easy to be liked on this. It's easy to be. Hey, you know what? And y'all like a person with some problems. You know, I think that girl came in knowing she was gonna divorce that damn man. She didn't. It never looked like she liked it. Imani didn't look like she liked the man. And then um, I started to say Bridget because I miss people name him. Bridget ain't even sleeping with her man. But see, y'all like that. Okay, let's be the doctor. Stay out the mess and just give you all a problem. When you have somebody like Dr. Heavenly that really ain't got no problem, so all I can do is come in and join on the other people. That's who Shanique is. That's who Jasmine is. You need, but you need all of that to make a good reality TV show. It's real. These are these people. Shanique got a good man. Look, daddy, good man. So she got to bring the mess. Okay? Jasmine, y'all ain't showing her man, but she got a good man. She got that nice house over there in the Beverly Hills. She had a mess. And Dr. Jess, Dr. Uh, what's her name? Imani and Dr. Britton. They they looking out for their brand. <clears throat> anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I love Leah. Leah is L-I-A, but yeah. You and Shanique, that people say that. I don't know. She, we might have the same daddy for hell I know. I don't know. All right. Well, she done ended. Lisa Anderson and told us, thank you for your time. Have a great night. That means good night, y'all. Good night. Thank you so much. Come follow me. Y'all follow me on social media, dr underscore heavenly. Give me y'all questions. If y'all want to talk about something, get on my social media and tell me what y'all want to talk about because I don't be having nothing to talk about. But if you could see, I could talk 50 minutes about nothing, what I just did. 50 minutes about nothing. I see y'all next time. Y'all have a good night. Okay. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all you've done for us, Lord. We thank you for the opportunities, and we know that you're in control, Lord. Kill this COVID, Lord. Kill it, kill it, and, and make sure everybody vote. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good night.